Hi, what is your name? My name is Dominique. Yeah, Dominique, yeah. great. Now, are you a camp counselor here? Um, I'm actually working in the kitchen, but I used to be a... Uh, um, uh, what do you bed on. The kid. You used to be a camper yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. How long did you go for? What? Well, I started when I was probably around seven, around that age. That's so now I'm working here. How many years did you go here as a camper? Um, 17 now so what is that like oh you went every year yeah so. oh that's great that's great okay so let's start with the tour we're outside okay. first let's start with the courtyard here yeah, tell cool. me what type of activities actually take place well, here what we are pretty they pretty much play um outdoor sports like soccer okay. and you know kickball we basically do everything out here unless it's raining that's great that's great. Now the buildings themselves, they actually look great. Now, now I understand that people were actually working on, they restored this, there was, they, they right. were painting here and right, exactly. they did that. Everything looks great. And over here I see some water. Do they actually go um, Yeah, when swimming? there's a high tide, yeah. we usually take the canoes out or we okay. would um, take the paddle boats out also. Yeah. yeah. And we would take the kids out to, you know, look for crabs and they would just collect them and then put them back into the water. So that's fine. Uh, Tom O'Reilly. And you Liza O'Reilly. Okay, are you from Hull or? We're from Hingham, but a stone's throw across the water here. Absolutely. World's end. Now you've been heavily involved in restoring and bringing the Sunset Point Camp back to um, back to a camp again this year. Tell me what's been going on and how you've raised the money. Well, Liza and I are a husband and wife team. And we're having a little fun working on a project together. And uh, I'm on the board of Catholic Charities and Liza's a member of the Friends of Sunset, Sunset Point. Um, so my role with the Friends is I helped chair a cleanup day last weekend where we had over 50 people come and paint and rake and scrub and, you know, just clean out old garbage and get the camp ready to open again. But all volunteers, families, all came together just to spend their Saturday here helping the camp. That is great. How many people would you say were here? We had about 50 families represent, and it was a wonderful set of individuals. Uh, there was a wonderful story about an 84-year-old woman who found her way here by bus because her old friend of 90 years old, who had recently passed away, had gone here as an orphan, and it had lifetime stories to tell about it. And in honor of her friend, she wanted to be here and to participate. Um, for pizza night, yeah. um, the kids, you know, make their own pizza. Come in here. Um, the camp has been around for 90 years and various aspects of the Catholic community helped run the camp. The Knights of Columbus donated some land and then various priests and nuns ran the camp and then about 15 years ago Catholic Charities came in as the year-round administrator of the camp and last year unfortunately when the camp had to close due to the tough economic times we're all facing um, then the Friends of Sunset Point was formed and with the Friends combined with Catholic Charities the camp is going to open again this year um, but we want more people to know about the camp and embrace it and support it and it's a hidden treasure in Hull that we think everybody should know about and be proud that Hull is a gracious host to these kids who really need to experience all the wonderful aspects that Hull and the South Shore offer. How many children do you think this summer will actually come here and be able to enjoy the camp? Uh, there's about 400 for the whole summer, so it's about 75 each week, and it's seven weeks of camp, right. and ages 6 to 12. Yeah. And then some of the kids, once they outgrow being campers, uh, the teenagers can come and be staffers, counselors in training, work in the kitchen, so they still get the benefits of the camp. Um, but they graduate up and get more responsibility. Uh, now we're on the, the lookout for linens for the beds. Um, we're really reaching out for all kinds of help. Uh, we have a big budget. Uh, mm -hmm. These kids come with really nothing, as I said. Uh, $225,000 goal to raise. Uh, we've raised a little over 100000 And as the saying goes, we raised it the best way. Everybody who's given has been a new giver. Everybody who's given is a small dollar giver. It's really a local-based, community-based project. Now, if somebody happens to, you know, find this on YouTube and they say, I want to give, where would they go? Um, ccab.org. Um, that's the Catholic Charities of Boston website. And right on the homepage, there's a support a camper. You'll see the smiling faces of the campers right on the home. 
the homepage of Catholic Charities. So now, has, has this place inspired you to do anything? Are you going to be a cook or? Oh, yeah. That's what you want to be now, yeah, cook, yeah? I love helping kids. So, and I've also wanted to be in the medical field. So oh. that has also, you know, That's encouraged me. Maybe a pediatrician. Exactly. Yeah, that might be perfect for you. Yes.